It was here in 2014 in Dubai under the blazing sun and blue skies that the GEC took its first shot at becoming what was to be the most celebrated corporate golf tournament in over 18 countries. Hi, I'm Bharat Arvind and I'm here to take you through the highlights of GEC Open 2017. But before we swing into action, I'm going to ask my colleague Anushree to take you through the journey over the past three years. Here's to you Anushree, take it over. Thank you so much Bharat for having me as your co-host today. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the finale of GEC Open 2017. But as Bharat truly said, this journey will not be complete if we do not take you down the memory lanes of how GEC Open was initiated. Twenty fourteen was the year when the Magnum Opus was born. And how, you know, just over a cup of warm coffee and a couple of scribblings on a paper. GEC Global Enterprise Connect. The vision and mission of which was to connect people, organizations, enterprises across the world on a global platform. GEC Open was born in this magnanimous place which the world calls Dubai. A melting pot of cultures, harmony, races, business cultures and much more. But beyond all that, Dubai as a place is also known for its fast-paced life. So everybody asked us, why GEC? Why golf? So, GEC Open came as a fresh breath of air in this hard-paced corporate life, where peers and partners used to meet only in black tie events, which were a serious kind of event. So, with GEC Open, we brought a fun-filled platform for the peers and partners to meet each other, greet each other and have a fun-filled place while playing the amazing game of golf. In 2014, GEC Open tied up with the Breast Cancer Institute. Coming across to 2015, we tied up with the UAE Red Crescent, Dubai Autism Center and KISS, Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences. 2014, the Address Montgomery played host to 72 participants from Dubai. The response was so overwhelming that we were forced to take the GEC Open across to six countries in 2015. The regions which we covered included Saudi, Oman, Turkey, Qatar, Kuwait and UAE for sure. In 2017, the GEC Open toured 10 magnanimous countries covering the Middle East and Africa. What was the outcome? Here we are with you, proud to tell you that we have been successful in connecting more than 3,000 C-level executors from all these countries who are all gathered here today to play the finale of the GEC Open. We'll talk it over golf. Such is the enterprising nature of this game. Call it the green fields of networking. It was this seed of an idea that has become one of the most popular corporate golf tournaments in the Eastern Hemisphere. The Global Enterprise Connect, or GEC Open, was created to enable free flow of information and business opportunities between regional and international corporations to build camaraderie and a better tomorrow. Global leaders and golfers synergize and strengthen their bonds through the tournament. Beginning with a single round in 2014 in Dubai to 29 rounds played in 2017 across 18 countries, GEC Open's popularity is growing exponentially with each passing year. With over 2,400 corporate participants in the ecosystem, GEC is forging everlasting friendships and business relations. And I say, the journey is just beginning. In 2017, India hosted more number of national qualifiers than any other participating country. The five-city India tour was spread across some of the most pristine golf courses of Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru, Jamshedpur and Bhubaneswar. Corporate leaders and bureaucrats, along with the creme de la creme of the amateur golfing fraternity, not just played together, but got enough time to bond over the game they all love. It's a little wonder why this bond extends beyond the course. 
India's only link style golf course, Golden Greens Golf Resort in Delhi NCR, hosted the opening leg of the tournament. With over 110 top corporates and business leaders gathered together at the Par 72 Championship layout, created by legendary designer Dr. Martin Hawtrey for a round of competitive golf and networking lunch. Thanks to the sponsors who made this happen and to all the participants who came in large numbers today. We had, I think, over 100 participants. So great. And uh, my request to GEC to keep it up and go on with it. Thanks. The tournament saw really low scores and nail-biting finishes. Anmol Puri, director at Monitor Deloitte, turned in the only under par round of the day at the tough course to emerge champion and seal a spot for the world final in Dubai. I feel very proud to represent India. Uh, tough conditions today, some great golfers, so very fortunate to win. Uh, looking forward to you know, win it for India and represent it. While I patiently wait for my break to get on the course, why don't you take a break right now and when we come back, we'll take you straight to the action.